Okay, guys, going to walk you through. Uh, go to your Documents folder. Go to your Ninja 8 folder. Go to the DB folder. And then we're going to highlight each of the folders in there from tick all the way up to cache. We're going to hit the delete button. And don't delete this uh, database file. If you do, it won't kill you, but try not to delete it. Go back to the Ninja 8 folder. Go to the temp folder. Now these are all Ninja Trader data files. And you're going to want to get rid of all of these. So just hit Control A to highlight them all. And then hit the delete button. And they're gone. We're going to go back to the Ninja 8 and go to your Workspaces folder and delete the Recovery folder. Once you've done that, you are now free to open up your Ninja Trader. And once you actually open your Ninja Trader, let me open mine up here and open up a Workspace. Um, then everything will populate with clean data and you'll be off to the races. If for some reason your charts open up and you have this error messages in the log file. Um, what it means is that the data didn't sync up to the indicators. Um, and it's a real easy fix. Um, the indicators are still on there, but they're not synced up. So to sync them up, you just right click anywhere in the chart in a blank spot. So right click, go down to reload all historical data. And once you reload all historical data, what it will do is it will download new tick replay data for all of your charts and get you synced up. Um, I guess I have a crude oil chart on the left hand side as well as my S&P chart. Um, so you'll see as they start to populate, uh, everything will take care of itself. So it's not really a crash. It's more of a data sync issue. Uh, so once you sync up your data and everything's done calculating, uh, you'll be off to the races and there's my S&P. You can set up different folders down here and watch a couple different markets. Uh, so hopefully that's a helpful trick for you. Look forward to seeing you guys in the Discord room.